Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a quick little national bookstore haul from my recent trip to the Philippines in case you guys have not seen any of the vlogs. I've got quite a few vlogs going up on my vlog channel probably as we speak. If you guys haven't checked it out already I'll put the link to that in the description box below and also in the cards above. There's a whole playlist you can check them all out there and you guys will have the opportunity to follow me around for the week and a half that I was in the Philippines. I did do some shopping shopping while I was there not as much as I would have preferred because we didn't really have that much time to so I did do a little shopping at National Bookstore it is my absolute favorite store in the Philippines if you guys don't already know what it is it's basically like a stationery slash school supplies slash office supply kind of store mixed in with a little bit of Michaels in there so it's like a Staples Office Depot slash a little sprinkle of Michaels in there. It is just such a fun place for a stationery lover, a pen lover, someone who likes journaling and planning. It is just such a beautiful place and everything is super affordable of course. So I did pick up a few things when I went. I didn't pick up as much as I usually do because they didn't have some of the little notebooks that I always pick up when I go. So I'm kind of sad about that because I was planning on stocking up. But I did want to share with you guys a few of the things that I did pick up because I'm really excited about the things that I did find and I will try to include the link to the specific vlogs down below where I did show some of the shopping that I did in National Bookstore so you can kind of get an idea of what the store actually looks like. It is really amazing and if you guys are from the Philippines you already know that because that is like the go-to school supply store but anyways let's get started. I'm gonna start with this little bag that's in the bag. So there's just two little things in here. The first thing is this set of envelopes. This is what they look like. I thought they were really cute they're kind of reminiscent of the airmail style oh they're actually quite literally called the airmail envelope so there's 10 in here and it was only eight pesos so for the things that I do know the prices of I'll try to put the um, conversion down here so you guys can kind of get an idea of the dollar to peso ratio but eight pesos is like really really cheap so for 10 envelopes I decided to pick it up because I thought that it would be really cool for some sort of craft because it is a different quality than the envelopes here and I just thought that the design on it is really cute so I picked that up. I also picked up this little whiteout from Pentel and it is a fine point correction pen multi-purpose. This one I remember getting a little angry because it was a little pricey. It was 129 pesos and 75 centavos but when you convert it it isn't that expensive but my mindset of course was like 129 that sounds like a lot but it is just this liquid white out pen and i plan to bring this in my travel planner bag and if i need to fix something on the go you know it's always nice to have a little handy little white out i also picked up this yellow duct tape because my yellow suitcase if you guys once again saw the vlogs I had this bright yellow suitcase when we arrived it actually had this crack down the side of it so I was like ooh I knew it was gonna last the trip back to New York but I was a little nervous so I decided to buy a duct tape and we ended up finding a bright yellow duct tape to match the suitcase so it was kind of really great it worked out really nicely and the suitcase arrived in one piece thank goodness but I think that was its last trip unfortunately but I did pick up this little duct tape so I guess I'll be using this for happy mail and packages that I send out from now on until I finish it but yeah I also picked that up I also picked up this little notebook it's a music book and there's 20 sheets in here this is from their little best buy brand which is their more budget kind of um, supplies and this was only six pesos and 50 centavos so it is just a little notebook with music lines on here I remember when I was way younger I bought my first lined blank music book from National Bookstore and I just decided to buy another one because why not? When I was younger I would write my own music and I would use my music book. I don't know where it is which is really unfortunate because I remember writing quite a few songs in there but I used to write a lot and then I would go on my piano and write music notes to them so I just thought it would be really great to pick up another one while I'm there because I do like to write my own music sometimes so I picked this up and it was only six pesos so I figured why not I should have probably bought more than one but I just didn't want to overbuy things and then not end up using it because I usually do that when I go to the Philippines but that's besides the point I also picked up this book it's called the happiness code it says 10 things to being the best you can be it's by Dominique Bertolucci 
I think that's how you pronounce it. This is what it looks like. This was 495 pesos. So on the back here, it says that being happy is not a privilege. It is something everyone deserves. The happiness code with its 10 simple keys and real life examples will motivate you to be the best you can be. You can unlock the secret to living your best life with these 10 simple keys. Number one, take charge. Number two, let it go. Number three, live for now. Number four, expect the best. Number five, back yourself. Number six, get out of the way. Number seven, be grateful. Number eight, give all you can. Number nine, keep it up. And number 10, be brave. It says happiness begins with a choice. Start living your best life today. So I thought this sounded really great. Of course, it's like a motivational book and I thought it would be a really great read so I picked it up. It is kind of thick. I'm wondering what the sizing of the lettering is in here if it's large or small but I'm excited to give this a read. It was really affordable so I decided to pick it up because who doesn't need a little pick-me-up every now and again. So yeah like I mentioned before it's a stationery store but they also have books as well because you know it's called National Bookstore. Yeah they have a little bit of everything in there. Then I also picked up this list pad from from Blossom by Puka. The packaging itself is super, super cute. It's this lavender floral packaging. It was 339 pesos. Let me open it up real quick for you guys so that you can get a sneak peek of what the list pads look like. It's got this cute little mint tie on the side. Super cute. This is what it looks like. So there's sticky notes on this side of different shapes and sizes. This one's like the normal one and then there's more that are like page flaggy kind of and then there's a list pad on this side so I thought this was really really cute I'm gonna keep this on my desk I love the patterns on here I love that they're florals and you guys already know I'm obsessed with stationery and I thought this was really cute so I picked it up and then I also picked up two of this list pad and I just thought it was really cool because it's very unique. Obviously, I cannot get it here. It says, Mga plano sa buhay. So it means like your life plans. And I thought it was cute because it's a little to-do list kind of bullet um, list pad. So I thought it was really cute. The brand, I think, is Plano. So this was 109 pesos and 75 centavos. It was made from recycled materials. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, it's... It's literally the color of cardboard. So I thought this was really cool. It says it's from the Plano series from Precious Pages. So I'm really excited that I was able to pick up two because this is something that I wouldn't be able to pick up here. And I run through list pads like there's no tomorrow. And I just thought it was really cute that it was just like, oh, my life plans because I write so many to-do lists and all kinds of lists every day, all day. And it's the only way I can remember things. So I'm excited to have a lot of list pad paper to write it down on. Then I've got this little baggie full of things here. I did end up picking up this little rosary and I thought it was really really pretty it was 300 pesos and it's this pretty clear like crystal beads on there so I thought this was really pretty I needed a new one for my purse so I picked this one up and then Scott ended up finding these cute key rings they're so cute it was 156 pesos they're just like these heart key rings I thought that they'd be really cute I'm gonna keep one obviously especially the lavender one I'm gonna keep for my keys but I think I'm gonna use the other ones for some friend mails but this is really cute it looks like it's from the brand heart ring because it says instagram.com slash right heart ring I guess that's the brand but they're so cute there were six for the 156 pesos, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I'm so happy that there's a lavender because you guys already know that's my favorite color. So I'm gonna use this for my keys now. And yeah, so I'm excited to have that. And then of course, we can't go to National Bookstore without coming out with some pens. And I tried to buy as many as I could of the ones that I love. I'll show you the ones that are my go-tos, but um, they didn't unfortunately have one of the ones that are the ones that I stock up on whenever I go so I was kind of sad about that and also there was a lot of people like testing out pens and blocking the pens so I couldn't really concentrate on 
trying out new ones so I did pick up quite a few as you can see and I'm so excited obviously there's a theme here right I do like picking up lavender colored pens so this one right here is my absolute go-to I've stocked up on this the past few times that I've gone to the Philippines over the years and it's from Faber Castell I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it so this is the ballpoint pen in 0.5 it was 12 pesos and 75 centavos this is what the tip looks like I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it writes like so you guys get an idea so this is what this pen writes like it is very thin and once again it's a ballpoint pen so I really really like this I stocked up on that one and also on the other one that is similar but it has a click and it is the grip xp5 and it was 23 pesos and 75 centavos this one i have quite a few still that's why i only bought one but um i've been using this currently as my pen right now and i really really like this other than the fact that it is lavender that's obviously a huge plus but i love that it has a thin point because it is easy to write with and also as a lefty it's hard to find pens that you don't like smudge as you write and i feel like this one i've never smudged when i wrote so i really really like this pen then i also picked up this other fabric custom one in the CX color this one was 18 pesos and 25 centavos so this is what the um, tip looks like this one is also pretty thin let me show you guys real quick this one is of course in purple because it is the colored pens but it is a little thicker than the other one I'm assuming it's probably a 0.7 Size, and I really really like it. It looks like the purple is a great color and I could definitely use this when I am planning because I like having different colored pens. If you guys didn't already know I have a pen collection so I love pens so I'm sorry if this stuff is boring to you but I love this kind of stuff. Next I picked up three of this pen and it is from the brand Stabilo and it is the reliner. It says F. I don't know if that means anything, but this was 12 pesos and 75 centavos each. This is what the tip looks like right here. I picked up three of them. I think this writes in black as well. I bought this a couple weeks ago, so I'm not entirely sure anymore what they look like. So this is how it writes. This third one right here, it's just a ballpoint pen. And it's just a normal one. I really liked that they were really thin and that they were lavender and I could just throw it in my purse and have it on the go. So I'm excited to have those. I also picked up this one from the same brand. This one was nine pesos and 75 centavos. This one is the purple inked one right here. This is what the tip looks like. It is a little thicker and I really like it. It's just a normal, once again, ballpoint pen. I'm not entirely sure why the colored one is cheaper than the black, maybe because more people would buy the black one, but I feel like this one should be more expensive, but I'm not complaining, it was only 9 pesos. Then I also picked up this gel pen, it is from the brand Faster, it was 19 pesos, it says that it has a 0.5 um, tip, oops, I wrote on my hand, so this is what the tip looks like. And of course this one's a gel pen. So this is what the pen writes like. It writes really really great. I love that it has such a thin tip and it's a gel pen. And it was super affordable. 19 pesos. I don't think that was bad at all. Then I also picked up three of this pen. It is from Dong A Fine Tech. It has a 0.2 tip. This is the black. And then I picked up one of the black blue in 0.3. So it's going to be a little thicker. So this black one was 32 pesos and 25 centavos. And the blue was 30 pesos and 25 centavos. So let me show you guys the difference real quick. Ooh, This is what the two look like. This top one is the black and then this bottom one is the blue. Let me show you guys the tips themselves. That one is the 0.2 and then this one is the 0.3. You guys can kind of see the slight difference in the when you write with it. But other than that, it's really not that noticeable. But this blue color though is really gorgeous. It's definitely a unique blue color. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like it's definitely not a normal blue ink. It's like a dark, dark blue kind of navy color. But I really, really like it. And I'm so excited that I got them for such affordable prices. But yeah, so that is it for my quick little national bookstore haul. Like I said, usually I pick up more than this, but we didn't really have time to shop. So that's all right. Maybe next time. But thank you guys so much for watching anyways. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.